Hey guys, I'm Izzy from Well Weekly, and welcome to probably the last video concerning the stables, because we've covered pretty much everything. Um, today we're going to take a look at the mounts you actually get from training, uh, those in-training mounts. Now, um, they were added on Wednesday, and a few were fixed on Thursday, because some were pretty big. Uh, but before we get into that, at the end of this, um video i was almost gonna say episode but it's really just a video uh we're also going to take a quick look at the um raiding mission because i've uh, got one of those now in my mission lists as well so we can take a quick look at that um but first let's get into the main subject of this video the trained mounts so if we open our mounts interface you will see that there are six trained mounts as you would expect from the Six ones um, you had to capture and then train. Now how to do that, um, check out the other videos. Um, they're pretty short as well and they give you a good overview. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the trained ISO first. As you can see it's the uh, new model for the cleft hooves. Which looks pretty cool, a lot more detail. Um, the tusks really stand out. And, uh, yeah, if you take a look at, uh, the stables here, you can see the trained ice hoof as well, because he's, uh, one of my favorite mounts. Um, as you can see by the star over here. Uh, just compare it to Son of Galleon, for example. The difference in size, it's, uh, pretty insane, so it, it could be that we'll get to see a, um... Another, I wouldn't say nerf, but another fix to the size of some of these maps. But uh, for now, they're pretty damn awesome. So let's go ahead and move on to the next updated mount, or model rather, the Elec, and as it's called here, the Trained Mendo Stalker. So a lot less changes, I would say. Um, the face looks a lot different. It, just really looks good but um, other than that it really is an elec but HD version really um, nothing else I can really say about that or compare it to so let's just go ahead and uh, summon the next one which is the trained river wallow now this is actually a brand new uh, beast coming in warlords and as you can see the mount is just ginormous um, now, for me, personal preference, I don't really like the um, River Wallow model as much. Yeah, especially the back of its head. It just, I don't know. Just, just uh, not my favorite uh, mount. Or new model, I should say. But uh, other than that, uh, you're protected from the rain. Um, you seem to move slow, but uh, of course it's the same speed. And, uh, yeah, this really just is the, uh, River Wallow. And that's the animation when you press jump and are not moving, which is really cool. Let's, uh, actually go ahead and t look, check out those out for the others as well. For the Alec, it's still the same, and, uh, let's check it out for the Cleft Hoof. Okay, that really did not do much. Once again, just to, to be safe. Yeah, okay, that doesn't do much. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the next one then. The Trained Rock Tusk. A boar mount, which is uh, new. It has the updated boar model as well as uh, one would expect from these mounts. Let's... Uh... Okay, that's a pretty decent uh, idle jump animation. The moving around is pretty silly, though. It's uh, a bore on... Uh, well, I'm sure you can fill in the blank there. However, um, one thing to keep in mind, because I have the level 3 stables now, and the level 3 stables increase your mount speed by 20%. So I'm moving at 120% uh, speed instead of 100, which uh, does make a difference. So let's go ahead and uh, just move on to the next one, the Trained Silver Pelt. 
Um, it doesn't look that different from the old Tabak uh, model, but uh, if you look at it closely, the detail is just so much better. So the uh, idle jump is still the same animation. The, s the speed just makes it look a bit silly. But anyway, other than that, it uh, looks pretty damn cool. So let's go ahead and wrap it up with the new wolf, or the trained snarler. As you can see, also the new wolf uh, model. Some pretty cool details on the sides. Some flasks. And let's go ahead and uh, run around, which again just looks silly, but uh, um, I suppose at 100% speed it'll look okay. And the idle animation isn't really much. Okay, um, that covers all six. Now there are actual, actually two more mounts. Um, which you get from, let me find the achievements quickly. Mounts. Here we go. Advanced Husbandry and the Stable Master. Now, as you uh, train your mounts, you will have to defeat uh, various uh, mobs such as Maim Claw and Moth of Wrath. And you'll be able to get uh, an item from your stables. Let me see if I still have it in my bags. Um, no. Ah, there it is. First, you'll be able to get the Black Claw of Seth, which um, basically increases your mount's damage taken by 25% and I believe 25% uh, reduced movement speed as well. Uh, that's on level 2. Now, I had that for all training, but for all training uh, missions. But for some reason, uh, it did not register all the beast slashers, which um, eh, beta shit happens. But um, basically, I should have gotten a seventh mount uh, from the stables by completing this achievement. The eighth one, because there is an eighth, is via the uh, stable master achievements, which you have to then defeat all of the mobs with all the in training uh, mounts while carrying this, the Garn Tooth Necklace, which you can loot here from the stables at level 3. Um, there's just one problem on the base right now, because I removed the training whistles from my inventory, because they took up a lot of space. They did not despawn after turning in a mission, for example. You currently, as far as I have been able to find, cannot um, loot the training whistles from anywhere on the, in the stables which you need to actually summon the mounts in training to be able to kill them, or rather use them to kill the um, mobs listed here. So currently I cannot get mounts 7 and 8 from the stables. Other than that, that's pretty much all the stables has to offer. Um, let me see... Is it here? Yes, there we go. Um, these are the three perks from the stables. Once you have level three, you obviously have all three. Hey, the first level is to be able to start the quest to train and uh, to tame and train the mounts. On level two, you can actually stay mounted while interacting with objects. So, um, for example, picking up an object off the ground. And on level three, you get the 20% uh, increased mount speed. So, yeah, um... I'll leave it here for the uh, mounts, for the stables. Uh, should I be able to get the last uh, two special mounts from the achievements, I'll uh, show them as well. If you liked the v series uh, for the stables or the other garrison uh, videos as well, please comment, subscribe, click on the like button. Uh, let me know what else you would like to see. We're approaching the final phase of the beta, we're just two months away. Uh, from uh, Warlords of General release, so we'll be seeing uh, patch 6.0 on the live servers in probably about a month. And um, yeah, follow us on Facebook at, face at facebook.com slash or twitter.com slash pbmezzy. 
and uh, check us out at wowweekly.net. So, uh, as extra for this uh, video, let's go ahead to the uh, missions table and check out what a raid mission looks like. Alright. So, it's uh, all the way here at the top. As you can see, you're going to need followers with item level 645. And uh, for me, what does it uh, give me for loot? A cache with a normal item. Now, a normal item is current flex. And why is that? Because my average item level is 623, which is uh, below LFR level. Um, so basically, I'm at uh, LFR level, I suppose, for the way the system works, which means I'll get one tier higher for loot, which is uh, flex, or in Warlords, called normal. As you can see, each boss has two... Uh, abilities and you'll have to train your um, which one called followers uh, to epic um, uh, quality to have a chance at being able to counter two um, of these mechanics with just one follower now, as you can see that is not the case for me which sucks obviously um, there's also the uh, point that I only have one follower at item level 645 and uh, as you can see both his counters uh, don't counter any of these so in that sense he's pretty useless. Now you might be wondering what this icon is and um, this is actually a pretty useful trait which increases the success chance of missions with a duration longer than 6 hours which at maximum level there are a lot of. Now, as you can see, Gilrin um, also does not counter any of these, which really freaking sucks. But uh, he doesn't have a high enough item level either. Um, let's see. Here, we have our first one that actually... Um, um, oh man, I'm sorry for blanking again. Um, counters... Uh, one of these mechanics, which is Korath. The magic debuff can be countered with Medispel Magic. Other than that, yeah, there's a lot of uh, item leveling to do, which goes pretty slow. Which means that um, you probably won't be able to complete these uh, raid missions very quickly. If you look at uh, Lentressor of the Blade, it actually counters two mechanics. The Danger Zones, which the Twin Ogron have, and um, Minion Swarms, which uh, Korag also has. So he would be able to counter these two out of the three, which um, usually is pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We can take a quick look at all these uh, followers that I have. I'm getting a lot more epic ones now, which is pretty good, but the item leveling is the real problem. It's uh, going really slow, so that's something to keep in mind once Warlords is released. Um, things might take a bit before you can actually do a raid mission. As you can see, there's an item level 630 mission here as well. As you can see, more are eligible to... Hang on. <laughs> 